Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is really an exciting evening for all of us. And uh, tomorrow you can see the same excitement in your Look magazine. As you know, tonight we're presenting the Look Awards on our show. And uh, while I was backstage talking a few minutes ago, our number one cameraman over here, uh, Marvin Dresser, he gave me, told me a story about a little sardine who was swimming around. He swims away from the school. And he gets over to he's swimming around. All of a sudden he looks up and hears a great big uh, submarine coming. And he swims back real quick to the mummy. He says, look, look, look. And the mama fish says, don't pay no attention. It's just a can of people. <laughs> Now, while we're uh, getting ready for the show, here is one, one that makes this all possible, our sponsors, Johnson's Wax. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening, Red Skelton has been invited to make the presentation of Look Magazine's awards to the Outstanding Motion Picture Personalities of the Year. As a matter of fact, Red is at home right now getting ready, and we should be leaving any minute. Red? Oh, Red, are you ready to go? Yeah, Jack. Here, help me open my coat, will you? Uh, we got to get over there. It's the moment there. We're, we're... <laughs> I was supposed to let go, you almost hung me. <laughs> no, no, no. I've been waiting all day to do that to you. <laughs> Say, Red, who do you think's going to win the Best Actor Award tonight? Who do I think's going to win? Oh, Bob. Yeah, who do you think's going to win? Well, oh, please, you're embarrassing me. Well, why should I embarrass you if I ask who you think's going to win the Best Actor Award? What are you doing, booking for unemployment? <laughs> You think well, they asked me to be there, didn't they? They want you to give the awards. To give them? Sure, they want you to make the presentation. <laughs> I ain't you're going. not getting an award, you're giving the awards. I'm not going. Well, I'm staying right you here. You can't back out now. I'm sorry, I'm not going. I'm not going. It's not that I'm a bum sport, it's just that I'm a lousy loser. <laughs> Fred, let's be sensible. There were a lot of great performances last year. Oh, sure. What about Marlon Brando? Yeah, what about him? You mean that you think that you could be better than Marlon Brando? Well, the guy wasn't tough enough. He had no, uh... Wait, I'll show you what I mean. Here, give me a coat there. Pull my coat for me, will you? Now, just as soon as I can get a little, uh, atmosphere in this room, I'll show you how I would have played the thing. <laughs> hey, uh, you you seen Big Jim around here? Run along, Sonny, and forget about Big Jim. He's tough. Yeah? Yeah. I'm tough, too. Yeah. I'm on plane tough. I'm really tough. Tough, 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 tough to come. <laughs> I'm tough. <laughs> Where I come from, it's so tough when a cat wants milk, he hijacks a cow. <laughs> You know, some kids down there are so tough that they eat raw meat and then sit in boiling water to cook it. <laughs> some of us kids was born on the wrong side of the track, some was born on the right side of the track. I was born in the toughest part of all. Where's that? Right down the middle of the track. <laughs> well, kid, why don't you take my advice and beat it before Big Jim gets here? I, uh, I told you, I came in here to see Big Jim. I don't leave till I see Big Jim. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, who did that? <laughs> who did? I did it. It hurt. <laughs> you did it, huh? You do it from over there? Yeah. <laughs> Good shooting. <laughs> I understand you're looking for Big Jim. Yeah. Well, I'm Big Jim. What's on your mind? Look, you rubbed out my sister's father, my, my, my girl's father, rubbed out my sister's brother, who's my brother too, <laughs> and you rubbed out my best friend. Yeah? What about it? And buy your racer? <laughs> I heard you wanted to kill me. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> about it, see? I mean, you're right, stuff. Now, let's put our guns on the bar, and when I count three, we'll both grab the guns, huh? All right with me. <laughs> I used to start counting because I didn't have much education. <laughs> One, 
to wait a big gym. Uh, let's be fair about this, big Jim. Look, I've thrown a lot of fight for you. I let you get away from killing my sister's brother, who's my brother too. <laughs> Big Jim, Big Jim, don't look at me like that, Big Jim. You're getting nervous on the trigger there, Big Jim. Why, Big Jim. <laughs> That's the way you would have played the Marlon Brando part. That's the way I would have played Marlon Brando. What about Bing Crosby? Wasn't he wonderful as the actor who couldn't stay away from liquor? What do you mean, wasn't he wonderful? I thought Bing was too subtle. Too subtle? Yeah, too subtle. If you're going to be plastered, you got to be plastered, you know. Well, that all depends on what you mean by plastered. Well, my idea of a guy being plastered is when somebody walks up and says, hi, and the guy says, hi. I don't know where I've been, where I'm going, or what I've done, but I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> That's my idea. Dave. You would have played the whole part differently. Sure, I'd put a little heart into it. Wait, I'll show you how I would have played this. That. I got to see you as Bing Crosby. Oh, you poor simple. Soul. I'm gonna make your husband a big star again, and I'm gonna do it with you or without you. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for. You think that my husband is pleasant and easygoing. Well, the truth of the matter is, he's been. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly honored and grateful to Look Magazine for choosing me to present the 1954 awards for the Outstanding Motion Picture Achievement of the Year. The Look Awards have already become an American institution, and this is the night when all the people with the hope and faith of their profession and their hopes and faith will pay off tonight. It's my great pleasure this evening to present this wonderful honor to the ladies and gentlemen who have been chosen by Look Magazine. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Look Award for the Best Producer of 1954 for his great motion pictures, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and The Vanishing Prairie. The Look Award goes to Mr. Walt Disney. and there's your award. Well, thanks, Red, and I want to thank the editors of Look Magazine for this wonderful honor. Well, gee, I, I got to tell you one thing about my little boy, Richard. He came in the other day, and I said, uh, what's the matter? You look tired, you look a bit drawn. He says, well, naturally I was a bit drawn. He says, I was up last night watching television, and I got Disney spells. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't blame
same him. You see, Valentina, my daughter, writes these materials. <laughs> Again, congratulations. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Mr. Walt Dibbley. Now the Look Award for the Best Supporting Actor for his outstanding performance in the Barefoot Contessa, Mr. Edmund O'Brien. Edmund, there you are. Thank you. I'm, I'm deeply grateful to the editors of Look Magazine, and I want to thank them. Well, gee, and you know, the only thing I've got to say is this. Anyone does a picture with Ava Gardner and steals only the picture is stealing the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Edmund O'Brien. <laughs> and now the Look Award for the Best Directions of Motion Pictures in 1954 for his magnificent direction in Rear Window and Dial M for Murder, Mr. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Congratulations. This is a Look Magazine for this award. Thank you. You're very kind. You know, I saw Rear Window, and I think their choice was wonderful. And, you know, truthfully, I'm glad we get to meet like this. I'd like to do a picture with you myself. I've always wanted to do a picture that's serious and sad for a change. What do you mean, change, Red? <laughs> Now for the Best Supporting Actress of 1954, for her performance in On the Waterfront, the Look Award goes to the very beautiful and talented Eva Marie Saint. <laughs> At this moment, Miss Saint is in the hospital awaiting the arrival of her little baby. But here to accept the Look Award in her behalf is the young Columbia star who may soon be seen in the Columbia picture my sister, Eileen, Miss Lucy Marlowe. Thank you, Red. It is indeed a pleasure and a privilege to be here to fill in for Miss Eva Marie Saint. Well, may I say you're doing one of the finest jobs of filling in I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Now for the most promising actor in 1954, the Look Award goes to a rising young star, Mr. Jack Lemmon. Congratulations to the editors of Look for the Honor. Thank you. Uh, very that's much. wonderful. Is this your first award? Yes, it is. Ah, uh, well, you're going to get a lot of them. You. you know, I saw your picture. Uh, just a moment. Hold that, would you? Yeah. What I saw your picture. <laughs> <laughs> See, the way I say it, it sounds like an underwater picture here. You know? <laughs> but I thought you were wonderful, and I was flattered backstage when Mr. Hitchcock looked at me and he compared me to you. We did? Oh. Yeah, he looked up and he says, that skeleton's a real lemon. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze that one for all it was worth, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Lemon. <laughs> the next winner of the Look Award has been America's foremost songwriter for more than 40 years. This year's winner of Look's Special Achievement Award for his outstanding musical score in White Christmas and There's No Business Like Show Business, Mr. Irving Berlin. <laughs> Our tribute to Mr. Irving Berlin, David Rose and his orchestra will play a medley of some of the great Berlin tunes and here to sing the songs is lovely Louise O'Brien. She will sing the words. Maestro?
Mr. Berlin, this is your look award. I know that you're looking in in New York, but you couldn't be any happier than we are. Congratulations. <laughs> and now, Look's Award for the most promising new actress to motion pictures for her wonderful portrayal in Deep in My Heart, Miss Helen Trouble. Trouble is in uh, Florida at the present time, and accepting the award for her at this end will be me. <laughs> Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pride that I present this next Look Award. The Award for Excellence in Motion Picture Production. And the plaque reads, for his continued leadership and high as a Hollywood spokesman and his active participation and a long list of civil enterprises devoted to public welfare, he symbolizes the industry's renewed confidence in itself. And it goes to the head of production at Metro Go and Mare Studios, Mr. Dory Sherry. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Thank Sherry. you very, very much, Fred. And I'm very grateful to the editors of Look Magazine and to the motion picture industry for the opportunities that they've offered me. Again, congratulations, and I leave you with two words. I'm available. So are we. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dory Sherry. And now, Look also presents awards to Mr. Boris Kaufman for his brilliant photography in On the Waterfront. Congratulations, Mr. Kaufman. And now to Russell V. Downing, managing editor, uh, managing uh, director <laughs> of the Radio City Music Hall as the outstanding exhibitor of the year. Congratulations, Mr. Downing. <laughs> to Mr. Valentine Davies and Mr. Oscar Brodney for their brilliant screenplay, The Glenn, uh, the Glenn Miller Story. <laughs> Again, I'll say that, the Glenn Miller story, and congratulations, gentlemen. You know, I get excited about this up here. And now I want you to meet the winner of Look's Award for the best actress, the best performance by an actress in 1954, and she's been my favorite girl ever since she came over the rainbow. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of A Star is Born, Miss Judy Garland. Congratulations, Judy. Thank you. Congratulations, Judy. Thank you Judy. very much. You know, it takes a, a lot of hard work on, on the part of a lot of people to, to uh, make such a picture as A Star is Born, and I, I, I want to take this opportunity, if I may, to thank everyone who had anything to do with it, especially my old man, the producer. Oh, yes. <laughs> and may I say something to you now? Yeah. I hope it's a girl and it sings just like you. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's a boy? Well, I hope it sings like Bing Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he sings like Bing Crosby, too. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Judy Garland. Now, earlier in the show, I was uh, kidding, so I'm making fun of the best actors of 1954. Actually, there were many fine performances last year. That's why the Look Award for the best performance by an actor last year is really a great tribute. And believe me, it couldn't go to a nicer guy. For his performance in Paramount's The Country Girl, Mr. Show Business himself, Mr. Bing Crosby. <laughs> Yeah. It's all yours. Well, thank you very much, Red, and thanks, too, to Look Magazine, its editors, and its publishers. And really, uh, Red, with a director like George Seaton and Grace Kelly and Bill Holden to take you by the hand, I think you could have played the part. Well, <laughs> without the falls. <laughs> without the falls. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, it's really good to see you back in perfect health again. Thank you, Red. And, um... I'm going to face a major operation next month myself. Was oh, that so? Oh, yes, the income tax department. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut out my money. <laughs> but I'm going to 
ask for Novocaine, you know. I tell you, make it a general anesthetic and I'll be your guest. <laughs> Say, you know, I don't like to be catty or anything, but uh, I could have actually uh, been the star of Country Girl. What do you mean, play my part? No, Grace Kelly's, but I turned it down. <laughs> Could have passed the physical, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get that till just now, you know. <laughs> well, Bing, I'd like to ask you just one little thing. You what, know? Red? Well, you know, I'd like to do a picture with you sometime. Why? I want to make Bob Hope feel insecure. <laughs> that ain't no way. I'm still. <laughs> Stole his joke, pile and everything. He's just too secure this book. Well, again, congratulations. Thanks Ladies lot, and Ray. gentlemen, Mr. Bing Crosby. <laughs> and now I would like for you to meet a gentleman from the magazine that made this possible. The Hollywood editor of Look Magazine, Mr. Stan Gordon. Thank you, Red, and on behalf of Look Magazine, I'd like to make one more award. For putting a smile on the world's sad face, not only this year, but for many years, a special Look Award to Mr. Red Skelton. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Stan Gordon. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for making this possible. Now, don't forget, you can see all the winners of the Look Awards in the current Look magazine that's on sale today. And now we have a few seconds left. I think it would be nice if we let the people that made the whole thing possible tonight have a word or two. Our sponsor and alternate sponsor, Johnson's Wax and Pet Milk. Be right back. Yes. Much, ladies and gentlemen, and be sure and get a jar of milk. <laughs> Until next week, good night now. Bye.